what's up guys ben here with cracking crypto today we're going to be going over a couple things one of which is two-factor authentication for bitrex second is setting up your api keys for bitrex so that you can use tab trader on your phone all right so the first thing you're going to do once you're logged into your bitrex account you're going to go up here to settings You'll pull down a menu and you go to two-factor authentication. If you're already in settings, you can find two-factor authentication on the left side here. Then you're going to go and open up the Google Authenticator app. If you don't have the app yet, you can download that from the App Store or from the Play Store. I will put links to both of those down in the description. Once you have that downloaded, you're going to open up the Google Authenticator. Click on the red circle with the white plus inside. That'll open up a camera. You go ahead and scan this two-factor authentication code. Just hold your camera up. So that that's inside the box once you do that you're going to get a code on the google authenticator which you'll enter right in here and you'll click enable 2fa you'll get a message like this to check your email to verify the two-factor authentication go check your email you should have an email from mailer at bitrex.com should look just like this and then you'll click on this link right here which will take you back here. You have to enter your authenticator code one more time from your Google Authenticator app and click Enable Two-Factor Authentication. You should then get Two-Factor Authentication enabled and you can click the Home button to go back to the home page. Now one thing to note, if you're having trouble with the Two-Factor Authentication code, if it's telling you that it's not valid, it's likely because that code was about to time out. This little circle next to each one of those will tell you exactly how long you have before that code expires. If it's about to expire, it may not work. You can just wait until that circle completely disappears and the new code will be generated and that, that one should work for you. Now that we've got two-factor authentication set up, we're going to go ahead and go to settings, go to API keys. Once again, that'll be in the pop-up menu or on the left side here under API keys. You're going to enter your six-digit authenticator code from your authenticator app click update keys once you've done that you can click add new key and that'll take you to a screen that looks like this you should have a key here and a secret here you're going to want to go ahead and check read info trade limit and trade market you do not want to check the withdraw unless you want tab trader to be able to take money out of your account which it does not do so there's absolutely no reason to ever check that box for tab trader You'll then want to put in your authenticator code one more time and click update keys. Next, you're gonna go ahead and download Tab Trader. Once again, you can get that from the Play Store or the App Store. I'll put links down in the description. Once you've got that downloaded, you're gonna click this menu button right here. Then you're gonna click on accounts. And then you'll click on Bitrex. This screen right here is where you're gonna enter that API key and the secret key that we got from that Bitrix webpage. That key is going to be kind of long. It's going to be kind of a pain to type in, but you do not want to be copying this to the clipboard or emailing it to yourself. Your best bet is just be patient, take the time, copy it down, double check it. Once you click save, if you get an error, just go back over it. You probably just missed a character or double the character. When you click save and it accepts it, you know that it's worked and you'll get it right here under your account screen. That's gonna be it for today's video, guys. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please feel free to drop a line in the comments section down below. If you like what we're doing here, please be sure to give us a great big thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to our channel to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time on Cracking Crypto.